good morning uh, in this session uh, we are discussing about the second uh, type of tissues the first one is simple tissue and here in this second one is the complex tissue so what are uh, complex tissue this is also one of the major kind of tissue which is uh, uh, anatomically in the plant body and what are the complex tissue they are xylem and uh, phloem and actually this tissue which is differentiated in inside the plant system in addition to the simple tissues it is with a specific uh, function or to perform a specific function so the major function or the xylem and the phloem both the complex tissue which help for conduction of water and the food materials conduction of water and the food materials so inside the plant body the up and down movement the upward conduction of water and the minerals which are performed by the xylem it is one of the complex tissue and uh, the another one which are perform the downward conduction of materials that is the prepared of food materials from the top to the bottom that is uh, from the shoot tip to the root tip which is performed by phloem and uh, the first uh, uh, kind of tissue which is named as simple tissue so the terminology or the term itself indicating that they are or the group of simple tissue are simple in their structure and also in function but coming to the second one that is the complex tissue complex means it is with a compound of functions that is a numerous functions which is performed by both the tissues that is xylem and the phloem okay and uh, here it uh, first of all it indicates that the complexity that is the upward and downward conduction upward conduction by xylem and downward conduction by phloem which is uh, performed by this complex both the complex tissues and uh, are generally called as that is the complex tissue such as xylem and phloem is generally called as vascular elements because these elements are or both the xylem and phloem elements are deriving the vascular tissue inside the plant body and uh, coming to the first type that is xylem what are xylem actually these kind of elements which are differentiated in the embryonic stage itself so from a seed we know that it uh, it is having the embryonic cell and which starts multiplication which derive first the radical or plumule and later as the root and shoot so these uh, uh, xylem elements are differentiated in the embryonic stage why because while the embryo starts germination or multiplication thereby producing first the radical come out from the seed and which uh, directly come in contact with the soil so there the conduction of material that is the required moisture or water content or some minerals which are also absorbed from the soil system it is performed by the xylem so that is why at the embryonic stage itself the xylem is differentiated and it is uh, of the position that is xylem actually it has uh, since in the apical promeristem forms the primary plant body which are we discussed in the organization of shoot apex there the apical region the promeristem meristematic cells that is actually dividing cells which are forms the primary plant body so inside the primary plant body itself the xylem is getting differentiated and uh, coming to the xylem uh, or differentiation in the xylem there are two types of xylem which is derived one is called as primary xylem and the second one is called as secondary xylem so uh, it is according to the time of origin the early formed xylem which is called primary xylem and later formed or late formed xylem which is called as secondary xylem so here the primary xylem is derived from the procambium and uh, similarly the secondary xylem is derived derived from the 
vascular cambium. So, in a plant body or in the primary plant body, there is the procambium is there and procambium which derives the primary xylem elements or the complex tissue. And uh, the secondary xylem in, in, in the histological manner or in anatomically, we can see in the plant body, the xylem is developed throughout and uh, later formed or secondarily formed xylem is there and such secondary xylem which is actually derived from the vascular cambium. We know that the vascular cambium is the zone or site of development or de-differentiation of what the xylem and the, the phloem elements. So, the secondary xylem is derived from the vascular cambium. So, the kind of xylem element and what are the function wherever it is differentiated and how it is getting differentiated as primary and secondary xylem and it is in connection with the histological nature. So, here you can see histologically primary and secondary xylem is of different. So, majorly either it is primary xylem or it is called as secondary xylem according to the origin or time of origin it is differentiated into two and it is def it definitely show such anatomical differentiation that means not only the time of origin as primary xylem or secondary xylem in addition to that structurally or anatomically or histologically the primary and secondary xylem is different in nature and here you can see the it is composed of that is the xylem element is composed of principal types of elements. What are principal types of elements? It is of course differentiated as parenchyma cells that is from the procambium or in from the cambial cells. So, so these are originated from the meristematic tissue that is cambial tissue. It is of course the xylem is also the, the type of principal type of element that is it is differentiated as parenchyma and later it will show the de differentiation and the de differentiation thereby timely it will show the complex tissue that is the I mean the xylem show the differentiation and so that is why it is of principal type of cells or elements and uh, while observing the nature or not only the time of origin but also functionally it is different and here you can see the, the xylem elements are living and also dead cells are there. So, xylem elements derived as primary or secondary they are early in, the, in the functional level it is of living cells but later what happened the cells become dead and which perform the conduction and uh, meantime it become dead cells. So, in xylem there are two types of xylem elements are there either it is living and also the dead cells. So, here from the nature that is what is xylem, what are the differentiation and uh, it is according to the time that is primary xylem and secondary xylem and also they are composed of what the the principal types of elements and uh, they are of generally called as living and the dead cells or it is composed of xylem consists of living and the, both the dead cells also and uh, thereby anatomists uh, uh, the xylem elements are differentiated into three types that is one is tracheary elements tracheary elements second one is fibers and third one is parenchyma and uh, coming to the first one tracheary elements are xylem elements it are concerned with conduction of water and the support only so mechanical function also performed by it is inside the plant body the mechanical function in addition to conduction the tracheary elements are performing and the another derivative of xylem is called fibers and fibers are only functions for supporting so they are called as supporting cells and the third one is parenchyma so in xylem also the simple tissue that is the parenchyma is there 
and it occupies in the along with the xylem so they are called as xylem parenchyma and this xylem parenchyma are generally living cells concerned with the storage storage of food materials and it helps for translocation of ergastic substances so while inside the xylem it is the complex tissue it consists of three differentiation or de differentiation into tracheary elements fibers and the parenchyma so coming to the conclusion what we see complex tissue complex tissue consists of two types of elements xylem and phloem and here the xylem xylem are generally of performing the conduction of food materials and water and they are commonly both the xylem and phloem is commonly called as the vascular elements and xylem it is differentiated in embryonic stage and they are of two types primary xylem and secondary xylem histologically they are entirely different in nature and the xylem consists of both the living and the dead cells and there are three category one is tracheary elements the another one is fibers and the third one is parenchyma okay let us see in the next session in detail about the tracheary elements okay thank you